Hello and welcome back. As you guys know, or you may know if you've been watching some of my videos, I've been really struggling uh, with the bear bedding this season. At the beginning of the season, it was going pretty good. I had quite a few showing up, but it, it was really hot on opener weekend. And I think that just really changed them around. I think I've got a few showing up during the evenings. When I first started out, I had quite a few showing up. And then when the season opened, it was really hot that weekend. And uh, that just kind of changed their habits, it seems like. They went nocturnal, weren't showing up during the day. And then like the next weekend, all the acorns fell. And so then I was competing against natural food sources. So it didn't go well that weekend either. My uh, cousin was successful on opening weekend. He got one late that evening. I'll put a link to that video up above. But I haven't seen anyone that I can shoot during uh, daylight hours. So I've been out there baiting quite a bit and I kind of expected I'd be done by this point in the season, but I haven't got one yet. And because of that, I'm running low on bear bait. And so I've got, you know, I started out with these two barrels full of trail nuts. This one's got, this, this one's uh, pretty empty. I've got a bucket in there, some uh, goldfish left. And then over here, this one's got a little bit of trail mix left in it. Maybe, maybe uh, a third of trail mix in it. But that's probably between that and the goldfish I have in there. I've got one box of that Butterfinger candy mix I've been putting out there. And then this box is about halfway full of the uh, goldfish. So between this goldfish and that trail mix and the Butterfinger, that's, that's all I have left. And that'll be enough to fill it up for one more weekend. I've got two more chances to go hunting while I'm up here this weekend. And so I will go out tonight and I will go out tomorrow morning but after that I will have to fill up with this stuff I have here because I'll be gone for the week I want I want the bears to have something to eat when they get there every time they show up I'd like them to have an opportunity to eat something I want them to I don't want to be in a position where they show up and there's nothing there and they're like well let's stop coming here so what I'm going to go to is I'm going to go to a local uh, bear bait shop that's around here that's up here close to where I'm at right now it's about an hour drive away We'll go check that out and that'll give me uh, some extra bait to have up here for next weekend, assuming that I don't get anything either tonight or tomorrow morning. Because yeah, I don't think this is going to last me. So here we are at Kingpin Bear Bait in uh, Brainerd and they're actually closed for today. But I was able to get a hold of Terry, the owner, and uh, talk to him. He gave me access to the site, told him what I was looking for. He said to go ahead and grab it, and we will leave some cash here for him. When I was talking to him, he told me to use this uh, cream filling here, he said. He said, take those and use that to uh, mix in with the stuff. And I took two of these Chips Ahoy chunks. And then we grabbed some of these pellets that he said are kind of a mix of, kind of a cereal bar mix. So we took some of that. We got three five-gallon buckets of that. We got three five-gallon buckets of just Oreo cookies. And we'll leave him some cash here and we'll uh, make our way out. I really appreciate Terry allowing me to come in here and grab this stuff. I think we're going to need it for next weekend. All right, let's go ahead and grab the rest of these two boxes. We will leave him some cash. And then, um, uh, then we'll head back. Let's take a picture of this for Terry so he knows what we got. Uh, 
and then we will get a picture of this as soon as we got that we'll send that to Terry all right that's all we need he told me how to lock it back up we'll make sure the lights are turned off and it's locked back up and we'll send Terry the link to our video too I really want to thank those guys for helping me out. Let me put a, show their sign up here. Let's turn the lights off real quick. So this is a Kingpin Bear Bait here in Brainerd. Really do appreciate it. Thank you very much, Terry. So we just got back from Kingpin Bear Baits in Brainerd. And like I said, I really want to give a shout out to uh, Terry at Kingpin Bear Baits there. It was really nice of him to uh, give me access to the building to get what I needed. Uh, really, really, really nice guy. So while I was there, I got some of this, it's cereal bar mix and some of these Oreo cookies. And then he uh, told me while I was talking to him on the phone, he told me to pick up some of these uh, caramel filling. He said this stuff works out really well to mix with those pellets I got over there. So he said dump these bags of uh, caramel filling in those pellets, which is what we will do with it when we put it out there. I'm not going to put any of this out here tonight because I'm going to go back out there tonight, see if we can see something. I'm hoping we're successful and then we really won't need this stuff. I'll probably put it out there anyway just for the bears to have to, to eat. But if we're not successful, then we'll have one more attempt tomorrow morning. And uh, at that point, I plan on taking this out there tomorrow with me. I'll just keep it in these totes and I'll cover them up and just leave them in the side by side. And so we'll go out there tomorrow morning if we're not successful tonight. And we'll put that out there and that way I'll leave it until uh, next week. And I'll be up again here next weekend. Again, assuming we're not successful this, this tonight. I really don't know what to expect. It's going to be uh, it's going to be an interesting night. It's kind of dreary and overcast right now. Not too much rain going on, but it's supposed to rain a little bit later, and supposed to be some thunderstorms coming in through. So, it might be an exciting night of thunderstorms while we're sitting in the uh, bear stand. All right, that's the plan. So, if you're uh, in the Brainerd area, or even if you're not in the Brainerd area and you're looking for bear bait, you should give them a call. They could hook you up with some great bear baits. <laughs>